Today we're going to be comparing the top three SMGs in Warzone currently. Now previously in videos like this, I've ranked them one, two, three. I'm not going to do this in this video. I'm just going to give you the pros and cons and I'll let you decide because depending on your own play style, preferences, things like that, I think all of these have an argument to be the best SMG. I am going to be focusing this video towards Rebirth Island, specifically with 250 total health and not 300 like Caldera, just since Rebirth is way more popular right now. So let's jump right into it and start with the MP40, specifically with the short barrel. Now when Vanguard was first first introduced, the MP40 was the clear cut favorite until it was nerfed. However, with the short barrel, this SMG has some phenomenally fast chest TTKs or time to kill. So looking at the MP40 in orange, compared to our others, it has a hefty lead with a chest TTK of just 0.484 seconds. However, when we switch to the combined shot location TTK, which basically is an average of all the different multiplayers of the different body parts, it actually falls in last place with a TTK of 0.565. And that's because the short barrel reduces the headshot and neck shot multipliers, but increases the damage on the body and extremities. So if you use this MP4, you actually do not want to aim for the head as the headshots actually do less damage than the chest. Now the best magazine option is definitely the 762 45 round mags as the 64 has a slower time to kill actually. So with just 45 rounds, it also puts the MP40 in last place of our three guns when it comes to damage per magazine, or basically how much damage you can do before needing to reload. It's still totally fine to take out two and maybe even three people before needing to reload, so it's not necessarily a deal breaker. Plus, it does have the fastest reload time of our three options today. Now, the MP40 makes up for its smaller mag with its top-notch mobility with the fastest movement speed and ADS time of the three guns today. It also has solid range and can be used as sniper support if you choose so. The short barrel does increase its recoil some, but it's still very manageable. If I had to sum up the MP40, it's probably one of the most well-balanced guns of the three today. It can do great up close, but also has moderate range and fantastic mobility. So for the loadout of the MP40, we're obviously going to go with the short barrel, like I mentioned, and the 762 45 round mags. Now for all Vanguard SMGs, the recoil booster is going to give us the fastest possible TTK because it directly increases our fire rate. However, with this, just know you're not going to, or you are going to show up on the mini map when you shoot and you're not going to be silenced. However, the MP40 has an interesting perk called unmarked. And basically what it does is you still ping on the mini map when shooting, but very briefly, basically you ping and immediately go, goes away. It doesn't last like it would with a completely unsilenced gun. So that's one thing that you can use. Now the hand stop I highly recommend and this helps quite a bit with recoil surprisingly. I do go fabric grip for a little bit faster ADS, although you could go polymer for better recoil control. I stick with lengthen, lengthen for better bullet velocity. I know a lot of people want to use hollow point or incendiary, but these hurt our range quite a bit and hollow point really doesn't change the time to kill. So in my opinion, you're better to just stick with something like lengthening or maybe even subsonic so you don't ping on the mini map. Now for the stock, I go with the folding stock. Uh, the remove stock does hurt your recoil control and I feel like the mobility is still great with the folding, so that's why I choose that. You could go iron sights, but typically I go with the slate reflector. And then lastly for the perk two, I usually always go with quick for just a little bit better movement speed, but you could also go uh, fully loaded instead. Now let's discuss the SMG with one of the best close range TTKs in Warzone currently, and that's the Owen gun, specifically with the Hawkinson rapid barrel. With a combined TTK of 0.472 seconds, the Owen's been extremely popular in Rebirth Island. The big downside to the Owen is beyond about 16 meters, it has a significant damage drop off. So it's not necessarily the best sniper support as it struggles at mid range. And it's probably more ideal to pair with an AR. Plus the rapid barrel gives it quite a bit of recoil, making it difficult to hit shots at range as well. Another big complaint of the Owen is with the 72 round Granko Max, the right side of your screen is obstructed when aiming down sight, but we'll talk about some ways to reduce this momentarily. The Owen is right up there with the MP40 in terms of mobility, but the aim down sight speed with my recommended build is a bit slower at 267 milliseconds. Now, one of the biggest pros of the Owen besides its fast time to kill is its damage per mag. With 72 rounds, you can very realistically wipe an entire squad without having to reload. So if you're a sweat going for some 1v4 clips, or if you just can't hit the broadside of a barn and need some extra ammo to spare, the Owen is a great choice for you. So you're gonna notice the loadout for the Owen is actually pretty similar to the MP40. Obviously, we're gonna go with the Hawkinson Rapid Barrel, like I mentioned, and then the 762 72 round drum. Everything else is similar though. Recoil booster for faster fire rate, hand stop recoil control, lengthen because hollow point doesn't make that much of a difference, and I don't recommend going with incendiary. Now I do go polymer grip and not fabric on the Owen. The reason for that is that the, the rapid barrel has a lot more recoil compared to the MP40. You could go fabric grip for slightly faster ADS if you only plan on using this on very tight quarters. 
but I like the polymer. The difference in ADS isn't that much. Um, I go with acrobatic for the best movement speed paired with quick makes it's gonna have great mobility. Also remove stock boost mobility. I don't really like any of the other stocks as I don't like all the cons that they have. And then I go with the slight reflector. However, with the drum that gets in the way on the right side of your screen, you do have a few options. The NIDAR model is a little bit higher of an optic and it brings it down slightly. So it doesn't block it quite as much. Um, another one that's good is the monocular reflector. And then lastly, another one that's very interesting that you can use is you put the M38 slate two and a half custom, you can toggle to this top red dot and it brings the whole gun down and really completely gets that mag out of the way. The negative to this is a little bit slower aim down sight speed. And also it's a little bit more of a zoom out effect, which I don't necessarily like, but for some people, they don't mind it. So it's something that is worth trying. Now, two things I want to mention before I move on. Number one, you can just completely take off the barrel altogether and go no barrel. And the TTKs are only barely slower with way less recoil. So that's a great option. Or other thing is you could keep the rapid barrel on. And if you go with the nine mil 72 round drums, the TTK is actually disgusting. I'll show it on screen here. The chest TTK is out of this world fast and the combined TTK is also very solid as well. But I will say with the slower shooting of the nine mil compared to the 7.62 and also the more recoil that it has, it feels weird and I haven't really been that big of a fan of it. And normally I just stick with the 7.62. The faster shooting just feels much smoother and the TTK is still phenomenally fast. Moving on to one of my personal favorite SMGs and in my opinion, the most underrated and overlooked, the Lapa from Cold War. The two major strengths of the Lapa over the MP40 and Owen is both range and silence. The Lapa has a hefty lead at range when it comes to time to kill, making it the most ideal sniper support option of the three. But its close range TTKs are extremely competitive as well. Now there's two barrels that actually change the damage profile that each have their own pros and cons. First, the rifle barrel in orange has the better combined TTK at 0.497 seconds up close and also the best long range TTK of all the options today. However, the BR compact barrel has the better chest TTK at 0.525 and will result in more consistent TTKs that don't rely on hitting a headshot, unlike the rifled slower chest TTK of 0.579. The rifle barrel also has a bit less recoil and slightly faster rate over the BR Compact. It's a tough decision, but I'd say use the rifle as a sniper support and use the BR Compact pair with an AR if you don't feel confident in making headshots. Now the Lapa does come in last place of the three for mobility, although it's still very solid and only slightly behind the other two, and its aim down sight speed is relatively average for an SMG. Its damage per mag is slightly better than the MP40, but does sit well behind the Owen. Now I mentioned earlier about one of the pros of the Lapa being silent. And what I mean by that is that you can use the agency suppressor and it doesn't make the time to kill any slower, unlike the Owen and MP40 where you need to use that recoil booster. So being silenced and not unsuppressed is gonna mean less likely for you to get third partied, which is something that's often overlooked. I already talked about the rifled versus the BR compact barrel. That's kind of up to you. Like I said, sniper support rifled, probably with an AR compact, but you really go either way. Iron sights are pretty bad in the Lapa, so I do recommend going with an optic like the Microflex LED. Raider stock is going to help our sprint to fire times and also our strafing speed when shooting. And then lastly, I go with the 50 round mag. I don't really recommend going with 45 fast mag because it is gonna make your aim down sight speed slower and I don't think it's a great trade-off. Um, you could go 40 if you're just playing solos or duos as well though. Now, one SMG I wanna talk about before we end is as kind of an honorable mention is the Type 100 with the rapid barrel. This thing actually has the best close range TTKs for an SMG and is just incredibly fun to use, but you have to think of it almost more like of a shotgun because of how wobbly the recoil it is. Um, it's not very viable to use beyond about 10 or 15 meters, but this thing is super nasty. Mobility is great. It's got gung ho, which is an incredibly underrated perk and just you might want to give this one a try. It's a lot of fun. And I know some people are going to say, well, what about the well gun? And the well gun is still a very solid SMG. However, since they nerfed its fire rate and they also nerfed the 40 round mag specifically, I just don't see it fitting in as a top, top tier SMG. It's still good. I think honestly, the 48 round mags is the best in terms of TTK, but it's got a slower fire rate. It's got actually a kind of moderate amount of recoil. So a great option, but I don't think it's the best option anymore, unfortunately. So let me know in the comments, which SMG you're going to be going with and let me know, did I miss anything and why you think it deserves a spot in the top three? If you found the video helpful, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you want lots more videos like this, we usually put up a video every single day here and also stream here live on YouTube. So guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.